I'm Jeff Gold, and I'm at Rescue Meets Animal Rehabilitation Center. On your marks. Get set. Go, pack walks. We're on 135 acres of areas with creeks, forests, meadows, every place where we can take all these animals to play every day. And this is a retirement home, especially for special needs animals, those who are not easily adopted. So animals come here, they live out their days. Uh, sometimes we get a 13 or 14 year old dog in that may even have just a few weeks or a few months of life in them, but we treat them like they're puppies. It doesn't matter what their age is. It doesn't matter how sick they are. If they can manage a one mile pack walk every day, they go on that pack walk and that's what I think keeps them alive and youthful and going a lot longer than most veterinarians usually think they'll live when they first come here. Mr. Digby! Pack walk for Digby! Two aspects of our organization. One, we have a website where we find homes for thousands of animals every month. And I want people to know about that website because it's so easy to adopt, even purebred dogs and cats of any breed, anywhere in the country, even worldwide, through that website. And then I also want to give people a peek into the life of some of the animals here. This is Digby. Uh, he was considered dog aggressive at the kennel he came from. He had apparently been in a bad dog fight with other animals when he was found stray. Uh, and so we brought him here and we kept him separated for a little while and then as soon as we introduced him to this group that we're in right now, you know, he's been fine with them ever since. You're ferocious, aren't you? Uh, I'm drawn to helping animals originally. You know, the idea of what can I do for all these animals that are need, homeless animals, sick animals, things like that. But what I learned after I put up the website from reading the letters people would send us is we're helping people as much as we are animals, you know. People are not wanting to give up their animals, but they have to give up their animals when they lose a house to foreclosure, they have to move into an apartment that doesn't accept them, they're having financial problems, injury, things like that. So we're there helping the people as much as the animals. I've been working with the animals here for 15 years now. Yeah, I haven't worked a day in my life. I just choose projects I believe in, and you know, some people might see it as work, but I just see it as a passion that I follow. Thank you.